thank you ever so much for hanging out with me. It we've got awesome. tons of sessions happening today. We've got uh, video editing, we've got coding, there's 3D printing using um, CAD, which is really great for fabrication and manufacturing. Uh, we've got Minecraft, but Minecraft at our school is way beyond what an eight-year-old would do. We are doing real builds with Minecraft. Um, we've got all sorts of sessions that students are taking so that they can up their game in terms of being prepared for a career pathway and innovation. I'm learning about new technologies, and um, so far I did Minecraft and VR. So um, I'm meeting new people in both, both regions. I was surprised at how many skills they had before we even got started. Uh, so working primarily with the Mine Minecraft program, one of the things we noticed was we were giving them projects to build roads, which are hundreds and hundreds of meters long. And by the end of the first class, they were programming robots in Minecraft to build the roads for them, which most of the adults didn't even know was possible. And not only did the students know, but they knew how to do it and were, were running away with it right off the bat. We have amazing partners from the industry that are here. We have people from Nelson, which is a publishing company. They're here with their Edwin program. We have Inksmith here. They're a um, 3D printing company. We've got Let's Talk Science, who are based out of Lakehead University. Um, there's, there's tons and tons of um, really great partnerships. Oh, Fair Chance Learning is here with Minecraft. There's, I, it's endless, the, the connections that are here. So the idea is we can get people interested in stuff before their social pressures to go away from it. So getting someone involved in coding or 3D modeling in grade 3, 4, 5, if they're really into that, into robotics when they're 10, when they hit 15, 16, it's not convincing to get in there. It's no one can tell them they can't. People seem really surprised that all this stuff is available to them, and they didn't realize how easy it is to get started. Uh, a lot of the tasks that they're doing get them right into building using the program or using the hands-on technology, whatever the workshop session happens to be, and they're doing it. Like, they're instantly doing it, so they're already innovating today.